Hey Jules Bless Vegan and as always welcome to my channel and for those of you who are new I know you can benefit. So it is my birthday. What? <laughs> I know and I'm actually waiting around for my husband. Um, he, he's taking care of business and so I thought you know what I'm gonna get on here early and just say hey and you know it's so interesting for birthdays the people immediately say so where are you going to go eat? Like, that's it, straight up. Are you going out to eat? Who's going to take you out to eat? Like, you just have to go out and eat on your birthday or it's not a birthday, right? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, sometimes there's a lot of peace in not having to deal with the nonsense of going out to eat, right? So for me, I started my day perfectly by going to Mass. I got up right away and I went to 8 o'clock Mass. And... Uh, today was the Holy Eucharist, um, so they actually set out the Eucharist, and it's the Adoration of the Blessed Sacrament, and so I stayed for the prayers for that too, because I wanted to just thank God to no end for His mercy, for His goodness in my life, um, for all that's right in my life, and I just wanted to start out my day that way. I wanted to say hey to my dad in heaven, and you know, Thank him for having his 11th child <laughs> at age 35. Thank my mother, who at age 33 had her 11th child. I mean, praise God they didn't stop before me, right? I was so grateful for that, and I just wanted to thank them. And I just wanted to, to start my day right, because in so many ways, birthdays are the beginning of a new year. You know, and I just happen to be very close to the actual new year. But honestly, you know, today is my personal new year. And my husband always said, whatever you're doing on New Year's is what you'll be doing all year. And and I mean, it kind of sets the tone for your year. And I thought, I want to set the tone right for my year. So uh, mass was extra long. And when I got home, all of a sudden I was famished. And I was like, oh, I'm going to eat, you know, my bananas and um I was going to have, sorry, I'm hearing an ambulance, which I'm going to pray for very quickly. God bless those who need you most. Anyway, I was going to have bananas with lettuce, you know, um, romaine, which I enjoy so much. And I usually sprinkle chia and uh, salt, I mean, um, cinnamon and things on that. And I was going to go for that. And then I was like, I said I was going to start my day right. And even though I'm not required in any way um, to have daily celery juice, because I don't tend to have stomach ailments, I had promised myself I was going to make celery juice. And then um, I do have lemon water, which I really enjoy. But you're supposed to have lemon water first. And then like if you're intermittent fasting, you have the celery juice after you actually start your eating window. And I was like, but I want my bananas and stuff right now. And I I just said, you know what? Can you calm down? <laughs> Can you calm down? You're going to live. So I was like, okay. So I went ahead and had my lemon water. And then I waited about 45 minutes. And I made my celery juice. And it was delicious and lovely. And I had my celery juice. And that was actually two hours ago. Uh, you don't have to wait that long by any means, but I got busy with other things, including hearing Tanny Raw live, which was just a gift to myself because um, I get so inspired by everything she has to say. And if you don't know Tanny Raw, she's on every social media platform. And even on my Jules Bless Vegan channel, I have her as a choice um, of select videos, uh, channels actually to watch. Um, so you might want to click on there. But anyway, so that was a blessing to me. And I just finished listening to her live. So now I can totally go ahead and eat that lunch. But feel good about it. Because I didn't do it compulsively. And I didn't forfeit my goals to do it. Because I had some really healthy objectives. And this is a perfect way to start my birthday. So I am still waiting on my husband anyway. And I don't know what we're going to end up doing but I'm not concerned about that because the birthday, especially this at this age, uh, was the gift to myself. And that was prayer and that was having a plan and honoring that plan in terms of my food. And then a ton of people were so kind, of course, and wished me happy birthday on Facebook and things. And I took a moment to thank all of them as well. 
But one thing that I wanted to talk about was thanking my body. You know, I was thinking my body has been through insane amounts of trauma, I would say, in the 54 years that I've been wearing it. And even though I know the cells renew and all those fantastic things, um, I think every seven years we have a new set, you know, new skin and things like that. I, I'm so grateful for my body. So I, I thought I want to take a moment to actually thank my body, you know, to thank my feet, uh, for all the miles that I've put on it, for the number of times that I've sprained it, for the broken toes that have healed, uh, you know, for all the different shoes from the insane shoes as a little kid that didn't fit right. Um, I even, because I was pigeon toed as a child, I had those shoes with the bar across, and I, of course, misplayed with those until they broke. <laughs> and I, you know, I was always wearing hand me downs and uh, everything, you know, from ice skates to skis to high heels to flats to flip flops to being barefoot, which was forever. And I was even called the barefoot kid. I wanted to thank my feet for taking me on this journey this entire time, you know. I wanted to thank my hands, which uh, when I was eating wrong for so long became arthritic and praise God they're completely functional today. For the times when my fingers were so swollen I couldn't even wear a ring. Uh, excuse me, bird, can you please stop? Wow. <laughs> I don't know if my bird will be as receptive as my dogs. Bird, excuse me, stop. Stop, 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 stop. You want to whistle? I'll whistle with you. But stop fighting with yourself in the mirror. I'll play with you. Sometimes we just, if I whistle, it refocuses. I don't even know if it's a boy or a girl because we rescued him. But please be lovely while Mama does her video. Anyway, on my hands, you know, which have allowed me to do so many things from sculpting to painting to writing to, you know, just all of the things that they show up for. And, and I was remembering I'd had um, laser surgery on my fingers at one point. It was really experimental and they never should have done it, but I had holes, in, you know, in my hands. I, I was thinking of when a firecracker exploded underneath one of my feet and I had literally holes in uh, the bottom of my toes, which praise God recovered. I, you know, was thinking about my back surgery and the five inch scar that I have. I was thinking about the burns on my legs and, and you know, and how some people are in hospitals right now. Um, they're in wound care units that won't heal. And all my skin grew back after those burns. I was so blessed for that. And, you know, I was thinking of the severe bruising from being trampled by my horse and being bitten by my horse being bit on my butt by a dog in second grade and the fang marks in there. And there's people whose skin is not growing back for their wounds, you know. Uh, there's people who had third degree burns and unlike me, whose skin lovingly grew back, they had to, you know, have artificial skin placed or have graphing from their own body and create new wounds. And I think about people who don't have hair. Their hair isn't growing back. And, and how I just have this insanely thick, luscious <laughs> amount of hair, which I had shared on here that I literally had, uh, you know, my hair was missing people. I'm not kidding you. I, I literally had to hide where I had missing clumps of hair. It was so scary. And, and now I just have a ton of hair you know, through God's grace, through eating right. And, and I thought how many times my poor body was so sick from things like strep throat, which I just had, you know, six times a year and my severe asthma and, uh, all of the medications. I was on eight medications, you know, literally just like four years ago, I was taking eight medications a day, you know, and I'm on no medication and I'm trying to honor my body, you know, by eating right and everything else. But for all the billions of times I didn't, 
that it figured out how to process toys, you know, <laughs> that it figured out how to break down the nonsense that I put in it and, and still allow me to function and thrive. I'm super grateful to my body. So, you know, as we start our 54th year, which I don't even understand. <laughs> I do not understand time or numbers or anything like that because I do have so much joy and, and uh, youth and everything on my side. But at best, I feel like I'm at the halfway mark and there's so many things that I'm still needing to learn and uh, I'm just getting started on and I just feel so young. No, I mean, I won't say because of eating and oh my gosh, I have so much energy and, I, and I'm not even talking about that. I'm talking about in my soul. I have been very tired in my soul before. I mean, I had suicidal ideations every day for 10 years where I was just figuring out how to die. I mean, I, I know that exhaustion. I've been insanely depressed. I, by all accounts, you know, suffer from manic depression, which it just isn't active. It may be potentially in me, but it's not activated. And I'm so grateful for that. And, you know, from the asthma to both kidneys, you know, failing and being ready for dialysis. And none of that's my truth today. So it was funny. A lot of things happened to me very young, uh, wearing glasses, you know, from two years old uh, to 16 and suddenly my eyes healing by God's grace and not having to wear them for 30 years and and now at best wearing you know dollar store glasses as needed and stuff like that so I just feel so tremendously blessed and I just wanted to check in and say praise God for another birthday uh, for the blessing of my Jules Blessed Vegan community and just the opportunity to communicate with people uh, you know all over the world to just say life is worth living and when you can say that you're having another birthday, it's more than so many who never made it that far. So love you so much. Thanks for checking in. Like if you like, join us if you haven't. Subscribe. Go ahead and let me know what you're thinking, how you're doing, and how I can support you as we continue our walk for five more days to the best version of ourselves in the new year. I am in. All right, my friends. Love you. And until we talk again, best of all, know that you're blessed. <laughs>